As a maritime country, 70% of Indonesia's territory consists of the sea, making maritime defense of great national importance. That's right, and due to this, the Military Sea Lift Command conducted maritime combat duty exercises, which ended yesterday. As one of the Indonesian Navy's core elements, the Military Sea Lift Command conducted a three-day maritime combat duty exercise on the Jakarta Bay area. It was composed of a series of combat drills packed in three days on land and sea from February the 16th to 18th. It was the precursor to the 2023 Joint Armed Forces exercise with the purpose of enhancing the military sea lift command's professionalism and weapon system readiness. The level 3 maritime combat duty exercise involved four Navy vessels, one aircraft, two helicopters, and two marine combat vehicles, along with hundreds of Marines and military sea lift command personnel. It was classified as unified operations that also involved civilian vessels. We never know the country called us for the protect national interest, for the war, for the protect our country. So I think the synergies with the main component, support component, and the other or to, to achieve the power of the maritime component to protect our national interest, I think. It was composed of underwater mine navigation, anti-air, vessel communications, gunnery exercise, and live fire training both at night and during the day. Aside from surface training, it also involved naval aviation where helicopters were used to train medical evacuation, vertical refueling, and cross-deck operations. Untuk mencapai jika terjadi suatu peperangan maupun suatu hambatan yang berada di laut, jadi pihak KRI yang melaksanakan kegiatan di fase laut, kita yang dari udara siap untuk uh, mendukung serta melibatkan dari pesut dalam rangka kesiapan pesut sendiri. To conclude the exercise, land forces also conducted amphibious training to take the beach hat from opposing forces at the island of Bokor in Thousand Islands, Jakarta. Many hope that the exercise can boost the Navy's capabilities and provide more opportunities for troops to conduct training in other areas of the country. This is because the protections of all Indonesians falls under the country's military. There are several combat duty exercises from the military Sea Lift Command have been done from the open sea, especially um, on the ships, and also here doing the beaching uh, in the Bokor Island, which in order to free the island from the threat from the enemies. And this war exercise is the purpose is only for one thing, which is to protect the Republic of Indonesia. Reski Anasto, Lutfi Evans, for C Today.